from August 11th. Lots of cucumbers, zucchinis, tomatoes, cauliflower, and we have some beans. an egg sack that she's made with all her babies and she's currently wrapping up a fly so then she can eat it later. One of our first trees to change color in the fall, it started to change so it's red and orange near the top. All right, hey farmers, Rob here from Farm for City Kids. We are back in our apple orchard here on uh, it's August 18th, our Phenology Tuesday. Um, as we can see, there's a bunch of apples that are starting to come up on the trees right now. They're quite small still, a little bit smaller than a, a tennis ball, but hopefully they'll They'll get fatter and juicier as, a, as it goes along. We're still a good month or so away from when we actually start to pick the apples from the trees. Um, some of the other things that are happening in Vermont right about now, we're starting to see a lot of the late summer, early fall flowers coming about. We've seen some goldenrod and some, some chicory uh, popping up in bloom along the sides of the roads and everything. And if the camera was able to pan out to the mountains beyond the apples and the leaves here, you might be able to see that some of the trees are starting to change color slightly. They don't look as green. They might they might have a, a yellow or a goldy tint to them. Uh, yeah, I think it's about normal for this time of year, particularly if the tree happens to be a, a stressed tree from insects or drought or whatnot. Um, and if we panned over to our test tree, this is the tree where we went ahead and put all the the bottle, the, the clear plastic bottles on the apple blossoms way back in May. Uh, we have a bottle right here. And if you're able to get in, you can see that there are a number of apples. It looks like there are three, four apples inside of that particular plastic bottle. And the plastic bottle on this side of the tree gives a little bit better of a view. You can clearly see that there are two apples forming right inside. And those are blossoms that we did document uh, bumblebees being on earlier earlier this springtime. So it is um, it's coming coming to be as predicted. The other thing you notice this time of year is the sound of crickets. Welcome farmers, uh, another edition of Phenology Tuesday. It is the last Tuesday in the month of August. Uh, we were in the apple orchard last week, uh, so there's not much change. So we are up here in our garden. Uh, broccoli has been harvested, cauliflower has been harvested. 
green beans have been harvested. Um, we have a potato patch. The potato plants are starting to die back now. It will not be long before we get a group up here. Hopefully get a group up here of some sort and actually dig up some potatoes. Uh, standing right in front of me, we have some Brussels sprouts that are starting to uh, look like they're, they're begging to be harvested. So we have some Brussels sprouts that are ready. Um, and we do have some pumpkins that are starting to turn nice and orange, getting ready for our autumn season. Uh, but it is another beautiful day here in Reading, Vermont. And uh, just looking to uh, close out the month of August on a high end.